Introduce yourself okay. and your office. Okay. My name is Michael Stevens. I'm the public information officer for the city of Atalanta. Okay. Um, I'm here because of the uh, FBI arrest of one of the, the mayor pro tem uh, yesterday. Does the city of Atalanta have an official response uh, to that? Yes. Sure. Well, the city was surprised by the uh, uh, news that we received yesterday. We want to let everyone know we're here to support the investigation, cooperate with the authorities. We'd ask people to suspend judgment and, you know, let's just let this process play out. You know, everyone is innocent until pre presumed innocent until proven guilty. So we would just ask everyone to let's just let the investigation see its, see its way through and then we'll go from there. Okay, are there any immediate implications for the operation of the city council because of this event? That's still to be determined. You know, I know right now the mayor pro tem right is still a part of the council. The council will be taking that under consideration in terms of one, how long will his absence last? And will that require him to then have to resign or be replaced on the council? That's still to be determined. That's being discussed by the council now. Okay, uh, follow-up question on that. So if there, was a, if there was a council meeting tonight and if he showed up, would he be able to vote tonight if there was a meeting tonight? You know, you that's, know that's, that. that's a good that. question, but again, allegation, accusation versus conviction. You know, he's only been accused of a crime right now. Uh, he hasn't, you know, been convicted of a crime, so I would assume that that would still allow him to carry out his, carry out his duties as a council member. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you a question here about um, 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 about what the city does. Uh, what of the charges are you, is the city aware, or do you have any summary of the official charges of the arrest or anything like that that the city is aware of, or you just you know that he's been arrested? Right. We don't know the details of the arrest or the investigation. We just know that supposedly there was a charge on bribery. There was a charge on trying to arrange for an arson. That's as much as we know right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change gears a little bit. Uh, the arrest had to do something with. Uh, uh, you know, rezoning in the cannabis industry. Uh, Alanto is on the forefront uh, in the high deserts, the region, and uh, actually in the state in uh, the legal uh, aspects of the, the new stuff coming on in January. Uh, did, the, did the city take into consideration uh, the possible corrupting influences that a from illegal to legal business might inflict upon the government or the city of Alanto? It's not a fair question, but because number one, Atalanto got behind medical cannabis, which has been legal in California since 1996. Proposition 64, which legalized recreational use, didn't become legal until November 2017. This city had already embraced getting behind the medical mar marijuana, medical cannabis. So I don't think we don't even bother to look at, okay, what might be the illegal implications or consequences of getting behind that. The city saw that this was an industry that it could embrace. It saw that this was an industry that would support our community. And knowing that the recreational use was probably going to pass, you know, we, are, we want it to be in the forefront. Um, some of the other communities, even here in the high desert, have not been so embracing of, of that. Um, did they, uh, I'll get back to you. Bye. Um, so, um, why do you think other cities are reluctant when Atlanta was, was saw an opportunity? Again, I, I can't speak for the other cities. I, mean, I don't know why they've taken the position they've taken. But Atlanta, again, saw that this would be an industry, that, again, that would benefit our community. It's a legal industry. It would be providing a product that would provide great benefit and value to the general public. And therefore, we decided this is something that we wanted to embrace, and we knew that it would benefit our community. I can't speak for the other cities as to why they are or not involved with it as well. One last question. Uh, the residents, the citizens of Alanto, uh, what, uh, is there anything that the city would like to say to uh, reassuring or anything uh, to the, the citizens uh, 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 as this goes forward? Yeah, I mean, I think the residents of Atalanto, the communities in the high desert, need to understand Atalanto is open for business. This does not change anything. We will continue to do our business to the best of our ability. You know, we're going to continue pro to provide services. This is a minor distraction, but it's not going to derail us from doing what we, do, we are supposed to do, which is to serve our community, serve our constituents, and nothing changes. That will continue. We'll continue to just stay the course and do as we've always done.
there's anything else that you think uh, you would like to add? No. Okay, your name one more time and your office position. Michael Stevens, last name S-T-E-V-E-N-S, Public Information Officer for the City of Atlanta. Okay, thank you very much.